we read right here that they met together and they, what? Took care of each other's needs. Now, everybody pause and look up here. Who around you this morning, this is rhetorical, you don't have to answer out loud or even raise your hand, but who around you this morning is in need of something? How will we ever know? Now, I know every once in a while because I get calls and I get letters and, and people want you know, help and I try to help all I can and meet their needs, but how will you, because I'm not the church, we all are the church, amen? How will we ever know unless we participate together what our needs are? You know, I've got some good friends here this morning. I didn't tell everybody how sick I was, but Joey said, if I'd have known, I'd have come over and given you an IV. Now, I don't know, you know what would be in that, but anyway... <laughs> He wanted to participate and give, give pastor an IV. Now, brother, you'd have to live by faith to let Joey give you an IV. Amen. I could walk on water after that. But you see what I'm saying? If I don't know your needs, if the person next to you doesn't know your needs, how can they help you? And what's interesting is this. Most people I know, if they see a need, they can't wait to help it. Yet most of us sit around with all of our pride or whatever we have and we have needs and we're afraid because there's no participation in the church anymore. I see that they had great generosity because they met needs, real needs.